Hello guys, welcome back to the DevOps Swing channel. Today <coughs> I am going to share uh, <coughs> in the last oh, video, in my last video, as you have seen, uh, installation of this plug on the Linux 22.24 LDS version. So in this video, I am going to share how to uh, how to monitor Linux server with the help of uh, Splunk. So why we need to monitor uh, Linux monitor Linux with uh, Splunk? So there are several advantages uh, to monitor here. So main uh, main monitoring purpose is like to uh security purpose then troubleshooting uh, then capacity planning then compilers and performance optimization so uh, as per uh, the security we monitor the logs for a sign of security breaches then uh, unauthorized uh, authorized access and other suspicious activities uh, <clears throat> then uh, we have to main troubleshoot uh, the issue uh, in the system so easily with the help of troubleshooting we easily find out system errors then issues then faults with detailed log analysis then uh, in in up uh, in the capacity planning we have a plan for uh, resource scaling and optimization by tracking histological performance data so in the compilance uh, we collect and retain the logs required for the compilance with the regular standards uh, we have standards like uh, hipaa <clears throat> then in the optimization we uh, Gain in, uh, insights into system performance, resource utilization, and uh, application behavior detect uh, to detect and address performance. So, what is what is the Splunk Enterprise here? Uh, you you have seen in my last video that I have explained all the steps regarding. Uh, how to install Splunk on the Linux machine. So, Splunk Enterprise environment is to fit uh, for the specific need of your organization organization by using uh, app. An app is a collection of configuration, views, dashboards, knowledge of object, alerts, reports are there. Uh, on the Splunk platform, uh, in the Splunk uh, enterprises, uh, we have uh, highlighted features. So, yeah, in the first feature is like indexing. Uh, in the indexing, uh, Splunk, uh, Splunk enterprise uh, processes and stores the data that uh, represent your business and uh, infrastructure uh, once the data is collected the index segments then your uh, stores com uh, compresses the data and maintain the supporting metadata to accelerate the search so we have to go in a, uh, on the dashboard i i have uh, installed this plugin on my machine and i have started here so in the setting we have to go uh, here indexes <clears throat> we have to create here new index uh, as whatever name you have to give one you can uh, yeah, give i am giving splunk name here then you have to index type is event and we have to save this now we can search with the name is as we uh, as i have created index here so yes uh, we have created a here index like uh, with a uh, type event then app is search 
करंट साइज विल बी वन एम बी देन मैक्सिम साइज विल बी फाइव हंड्रेड जी बी एंड होम पाथ विल बी लाइक दिस एंड स्टेटस विल बी इनेबल हेयर वी हैव क्रिएटेड इंडेक्स फॉर लिनक्स एंड यूनिक्स डेटा स्पेसिफाइंग दिटेंशन पॉलिसीज है सो नाउ वी हैव टू मूव ऑन द सेकेंड फीचर दैट वन इज सर्च सो सर्च इज द प्राइमरी वे टू uh way you just navigate their data in the uh, splunk enterprises you can say a search uh, as a report and use it uh, to power dashboard panels also so with the help of search provider insight from your data such as uh, we have to calculate uh, we, we are calculating metrics here uh, retrieving events from an index then uh, searching for specific condition within a rolling time window so uh, we are going to show you how search work here in the in, uh, in the setting uh, we have to go in advanced search we have to search uh, a macro here and we have to add add new here whatever uh, destination app you require you can select from here uh, as i want the uh, splunk uh, otherwise i will search here with the destination app uh, giving name um, admin here argument i am passing with uh, here uh, passing here arg 1 to whatever you have to give and click on the save button uh your search appearance app is here uh, successfully here so in this uh, we have some lots of permissions and privacy status uh, uh, status will be uh, enable here and if you want to if you want to uh, delete move or uh, clone this uh, app we can um we can do from here uh, we have some configuration resources here also on the search bar search so there are two uh, buttons here visible in the app and created in the app so where you have created a search app uh, app here uh, there that that helps to show you and owner will be here who is created here administrator is there or no uh, whatever owner or from your company or whatever uh, whatever uh, person from your concern per, uh, project you can see here the owner name here and you can uh, use the filter uh, here that is the for that this is for the uh, search uh, now we have alerts so in this alert uh, we notify you uh, when search result for both historical historical and real time searches meet the configuration conditions and you can configure alerts to trigger uh, actions like sending alerts information to the uh, designated email addresses then uh, posting alerts information to an rss feed and running a custom script search as one that post an alert event to system log so <clears throat> uh, i will show you how alerts is work uh, then next is a dashboard uh, dashboard uh, contains panel of modules like search uh, su like search boxes page charts and so on dashboard panels are use usually connected to uh, save search uh, then 
how to create dashboard is uh, dashboard uh, we'll see uh, we have to go to setting user interface and dashboard let's see um, setting user interface is here yes uh, oh, from next is uh, user interface and dashboard okay and we have to create a, a new dashboard and add panel with visualization based on your uh, search results. So we'll create. Suppose uh, there are few types here. So time ranges, view, uh, view PDF, uh, PDF scheduling, navigation menus, and then bulletin and messages. So I will select time ranges here. Mm -hmm. I'm giving here also search button at the destination app. I'm giving a name here with uh, admin. Whatever name you have to give, you can give. Uh, earliest time and latest time, if you want to add, then you can add. Otherwise, uh, feel, uh, keep it as it is. Uh, so, here is a message like enter a relative time range that represents the earliest event to return whatever event you have created so represent the earliest event time to return this so i am not filling this uh, i'm clicking on the save button time ranges uh, i have taken search na? so time ranges in the I go down otherwise I will search a search yes uh, let's uh, see uh, admin name of the app is here then owner of the admin is admin and uh, status is the, the status is in enable state and label will be time default time config label so as I have selected time from the user interface so a label uh, shown in here is default time so if you want to create another new uh, time range you can create from here um, and i have not shown alerts i will show you alerts here alert actions uh, in this uh, you can you have seen the theoretical part like uh, whatever uh, results for the historical and real-time search meet configuration conditions so uh, in this uh, alert uh, we have to configure to trigger actions like sending alerts information uh, to the designation uh, designation mail so we have click on browse more and from here uh, we have to select splunk add on Linux as I have seen we didn't see this one but here There are few categories here. As you can see, IT operation, utilities there, DevOps is there, emails is there. But uh, why this is not showing, I don't know. Suppose I have, I have to take this one, then you have to uh, uh, enter um, username and password here and agree to install here. And you can uh, send alerts uh, with with the help of this one. Uh, if I go back, here the alert action is there. Uh, log event is there. Then output results to look up. Then run a script here. Send a mail. Send to Splunk Mobile, webhook is there. Uh, 
this one is already uh, uh, set here, uh, in the alert actions. Uh, if you want to take this one, you can also take this uh, view log event. There is no uh, a log event uh, in the alert, no log event is there. So if uh, I am uh, searching here like this, uh, then I will uh, <clears throat> showing no alerts. If uh, I am say, setting up another uh, uh, index here, uh, otherwise I will uh, show you how uh, uh, within one one minute or five minutes or thirty minutes, whatever time uh, you have scheduled, or uh, in the real time you have scheduled this alert, then you can uh, say uh, you can see with the help of this. Uh, uh, presets just I need to check how it works It's not working. Let's see. I will edit this once again. We have to create a table uh, view here. You can create from here. And you, if you want to save this, you can save as entry goes so, uh, alert uh, here from the here. Now, next will be our data models. Uh, in the data model, we have encoded uh, specialized domain knowledge about one or more sets of index data, and they are enable a you know, pivot editor user to create uh, create reports and dashboard without designing the searches that generates them so this is about uh, Splunk uh, monitoring on the uh, monitoring Linux on the Splunk. Why? So by above uh, steps and experimenting with different search queries, uh, you can effectively search and analyze the data collected by the Splunk uh, add on the uh, Unix and Linux to gain insight into your Linux and uh, Unix system. That's it. Uh, thank you, guys.